everyone. How are you? Do you remember the last story? The girl got lost. Today, we have a friend who will help her. Don't you wonder who her friend is? Voila! Yeah, this is our friend. Then let's see what will happen in the story as we continue it today. Shall we go on a trip with these friends? A boy came up to the girl. The boy asked the girl, who was crying, Why are you crying alone here? The girl cried more and said, I was playing outdoors and got lost. I want to go home. The boy said, Right, don't worry too much. I'll help you. Let's find your home together. Then I'll find it. The girl just stopped crying. I'm going to draw a boy today. First, draw his face like a circle. I'm going to draw the boy's head, but this time not like a girl's head. Draw his head with little lines and draw the ears as small circles. Next, I'll draw his expression. His eyebrows should be curved up and his eyes should be little. And draw the nose like this and draw the mouth convexly like the girl's mouth. And draw the neck and the body as rectangles like we did last time. Let's draw the shoulders dropping roundly. Next, I will draw some arms. Last time, the girl stood up straight, but this time I want to draw the arms with another position. I'll try drawing one arm waving slightly from the neck to the shoulder. And I'll draw the other arm downwards like last time. The boy looks like he is waving his hand, doesn't he? Yes, and it's time to draw both hands. Last time I showed you an easy way, but this way I'll tell you how to draw it all at once. One, two, three, four, and five. Then this side, one, two, three, four, and five. You can draw them with the same length as your fingers. You will do well if you practice. And I'll draw the legs. You might think that one leg is drawn as a long rectangle. Let me draw the boy standing on one leg like this. Now make it go down and up slightly. Make the lines go down and up this way and meet. There! Oh, we made it! And finally, we can shape the shoes like ovals, like we did last time. Now I'm going to show you how to draw the background. And let's draw some different heart shapes. There! I'm coloring up and down using blue. changing the color and I'll draw a bigger heart in green and then draw some other hearts here this time I'll draw a heart in red and I'll also draw a small heart and big heart 
Can you feel the boy's warm heart? He's come to help the girl. Yes, I've drawn all these big hearts and small hearts. So let's color it now. I'll color the face first in apricot. Color the face like this and color the neck. And what do you want to color? Color the hands. The boy has long pants, so you can color them like this. And I'll color the other clothes. What color do you want to use? Shall we color them blue? This time, I will color a pattern up and down like this, and then color it in in a different color. I'll color the center blue here. I'm coloring the center in blue and the sides in green. I'll color this side green too. And I'll try to color his arms purple. This arm too. There, we finished the clothes. Now I'll color the pants. And I'll color the pants in sky blue. You can color with your favorite color. Color in one leg and color the other. Yes. What color do you want to color your shoes? I'll try coloring the shoes in the same blue we used here. The blue shoes are also completed. Now where didn't we color yet? Ah, the hair is not colored. I'll color the hair black this time. The girl has brown hair, but this time I'll try to color his hair black. There, I've colored it. And I'll color the background with pastels. So what colors do you want to use this time? Let me color this light blue and with this green color next to it. Rub the top and put it on the paper. Then rub it with your hands like you're painting it gently on the paper. Please rub the yellow and green and your hand gently. Doesn't it look like a grass lawn because we painted it yellow and green like this? Wow, I think we can feel his warm heart better. If you want to put more on, you can rub it again. Please rub it like this. And now, 
It's finished. How was your class today? I think the boy who helped the girl is very warm. And I think that you all have such warm hearts. And please don't think that drawing people is too hard. I hope you do not get upset even if you are not doing well. If you practice, you can do well enough. So let's enjoy together next time. Bye everyone!